Good day, folks. Today we will show you all the moments when judges of God Talent got physical on the show. The Water Attack God Talent is always welcoming all sorts of abilities on their stage, even the not-so-good ones. Debbie Stevens has a very high self-esteem and believes that she's got the star qualities to make it and win the competition. When she started to sing When You Believe by the icons Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston, the judges were underwhelmed with her voice. After her short audition, the judges had no good comments about it. Pub singer-ish, I thought. Really? Yeah. I felt your confidence was slightly deluded. Debbie was provoked by the comments to her, so she instantly became violent. This made the judges hate her even more. When she was escorted to walk outside, she still wanted to express how infuriated she was, so she went back to the audition room and aimed the glass with water on it to Louis Walsh. Louis's quick reflexes saved him because he grabbed his glass of water as well and threw it on Debbie. Simon was speechless with what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Stand-up comedy gone bad One of the best ways to advance on the next round of Got Talent is to make the judges laugh. And this is what Corey Kahane did because her talent is her witty stand-up comedy skits. Her piece is relatable and funny, but little did she know that her whole performance was the cause of why the judges got physical on each other. I never used my feminine charms to get ahead. Now that I've reached a point in my career where I would be willing to... Simon is one of the well-known judges that's hard to please, but he did enjoy the performance of Corey, saying that he likes it when people can make a funny piece about themselves. He even said that her idea is so relatable and proceeds to look at Mel Brooks after his statement. Uh, what you said relates to a lot of people. <laughs> I'm not looking at you. Mel gets the hint, storms towards Simon, and because she's so annoyed, she tries to push Simon. When this doesn't work, she proceeds to pour the coffee inside Simon's cup on him. The other judges laugh this off, but obviously Simon is only trying to play it cool. Say a word. <laughs> Why is your problem? This cup is full. <laughs> You're very funny. Congratulations. <laughs> we'll say another word. Judges storm off. It's not unusual for judges to walk out in the middle of a performance, but when Don Gerard walked on the audition platform, they already couldn't control themselves. Don said that she's a jockey, and because of her outfit, Louis Walsh burst out laughing because he said that he couldn't imagine her riding a horse. With Walsh's laugh being so contagious, Sharon Osbourne begins to laugh hysterically as well. Don tried to start her audition piece, Cherish, by Madonna, but every time she sings a word, the two judges die laughing. Simon found this disrespectful and apologized to Don. Simon also told them to leave the room. They both left, still laughing. At one point, Sharon even hit her head on her way out. You know what? You two should just go next door and let this girl sing. I'm like, being serious. But she's not singing. <laughs> Go on, off you go. Leave the table. She's not okay. Okay. <laughs> Simon said that she could continue, but her voice sounded awful for the third try. This time, the other judge walked away because she couldn't help her laugh either. Simon said Dawn should just audition again next year. Oh, baby, I perish the thought. <laughs> no, it's exactly the same. And Danny, you should leave as well. <laughs> Judges died off laughing. Penelope Gomez didn't expect that the judges would make fun of her audition because she went on stage with a poker face, ready to ace her audition, but when she started singing Over the Rainbow, things escalated quickly. So... <laughs> <Turn> on! <laughs> well, let me know. Simon is trying to conceal his laughter, but Sharon loses it. The great thing about Penelope is that she just went with the flow and laughed with them. She tried to continue singing, but it didn't help because the more she sang, the more the judges burst out laughing. Louis requested for a different song for her to sing, but even with a different song, their reactions are still the same. In the end, she still passed the audition because of the laughter that she contributed. Not exactly because of her talent, though. Entertainment. <laughs> Louis and Sharon, they couldn't stop laughing, so I don't know, they, they have great fun, but I don't know. <laughs> Getting the party started. 
Beck Martin is a gym instructor who wants to pursue his dreams on stage. That's why he decided to give his dreams a shot and auditioned with his original song called Friday Night. One thing is for sure, the song sucks. And his voice sucks as well. But his moves? Well, that's his main goal, to make the judges stand up on their seats and groove with his beat. Everybody heard up? Nicole was the first one to feel the rhythm and dance with the song he's singing. Then this led all of the judges to enjoy the entire thing. By the end of his audition, every judge without a doubt enjoyed his performance. In the air, come on. <laughs> when judges couldn't take it anymore. Andrew Muirhead is one of those contestants on reality shows that somehow ends up in the audition room because they think there's a free gift certificate after their audition. This guy believes he's got some charisma to win the show. When he started singing, none of the judges were impressed with it. Hey, hostess, I like the way you dress. You know, I hate to fly, but I feel much better. Like you my mind, letting you a love letter. As he continues his song, Sharon bursts out laughing, almost running out of breath because of it. She still managed to say yes, even though she's really struggling to speak. The other judges laughed as well. One thing's for sure, he got the attention he wanted, even more than what he expected. <laughs> I really do! <laughs> Audition turned into a telenovela. Most of the auditions are focused on different talents, and it's unusual when these contestants audition for acting. But Samuel Prince decided to spice up his audition a little bit when he told Jennifer Lopez to do a telenovela scene with him. Samuel acted beautifully, but the scene ended when J.Lo slapped him. Finally, when he started to sing, after a couple of seconds, the judges stopped him because they thought that the vocals weren't good enough for them. He should probably just focus on acting and let the singing go. This is where we'll end our video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to comment, hit the like and subscribe buttons, hit that notification bell for more videos like this, and share this video with your family and your friends. See you soon.